Hello guys, hello people. Welcome back to this wonderful platform, MC Potoski Talk Show, here on Facebook and also on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, welcome back to this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. So guys, I bring you guys the latest happening today. Just watch the video and drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video. But before we dive into this video, look at the top here. If it's your first time on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and put on the bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube. I want this video to go viral. So guys, just watch the video, and I will be right back. So from both warring factions, live here, Kenneth Okonkwa is a spokesman for the Abura-led Labour Party executive, and Abayomi Arabambi is the National Publicity Secretary for the Akpapa-led Labour Party executive. Kenneth, and uh, good to see you all. And, uh, you know, Nigerians are not too excited about uh, this whole uh, game uh, to the extent that they felt that uh, the beautiful bride in the political scene is uh, almost getting dated. Now, speak to us on what exactly this is about for your party. Kenneth? Oh, well, thank you for inviting me. And uh, thank you, viewers at home, for joining us. There is no faction in Labour Party, and I can tell you that outrightly. Because you just cannot walk in from anywhere and arrogate powers to yourself and then begin to pretend that you have the power you do not have. In Labour Party, and I'm talking about the Constitution, it is the National Convention that elects or removes the national officers of the Labour Party, which is N. WC and I'm telling you article 13 1 B I V and again if there is any sudden vacancy in the national office it is the National Executive Council that has the right to fill the vacancy and I'm talking about article 13 2 B X V I and if there is a need to discipline any officer of the national level it is only the national executive council that has the right to discipline and i'm talking about article 13 to be xvii you can check it in the constitution of the labor party so that people come to arrogate themselves and give themselves and allocate to themselves some position and call themselves you have the right to call yourself anything did you see the labor party national convention elect any of those people that are parading themselves as national officers of labor that's why you cannot call them a faction you cannot call them the national officers of labor party and let me make it clear the person who introduced me with now i say it publicly he has never been the publicity secretary of labor party and you will ask him please how did he come to be answering public secretary level party because okay, i know in, i know yeah. that no national convention elected mm -hmm. him and i know no national executive council brought him he was a nominee of the national chairman who employed him to be his own personal assistant putting him on probation and when the national chairman saw that he was not fit to occupy the national office he was not even recommended to neck so he has no right to come here and say he was ever the publicity secretary of right. Labour Party. Okay, let, me let him tell us how he became the publicity secretary because the law is clear. Uh, Bayobi Arabambi, I'm sure you heard what uh, Kenneth Okonkwo just asked. Uh, he's saying that you're not in any way or form a uh, spokesperson of uh, the Labour Party, having not been, uh, you know, so appointed. Uh, then again, on the other hand, there are those who are saying that your faction, which is the Lamidi Akwapa uh, faction, is actually being uh, propelled by external forces. Maybe some kind of monetary inducement or any other kind of inducement. You want to react to all of this? 
Well, thank you very much. Uh, it is a normal norm in the world. No child can come and tell his father how his father was born. I have been in the Labour Party 14 years ago when I was the state deputy chairman in Ogun. Abure was the assistant state secretary in Edo State. I have served with our former national chairman, Barisa Danayao, our former national chairman, A.A. Salam, and the ousted one, uh, Abure. So I will not want to dignify issue with uh, Kenneth. Kenneth is just a staff of PO. Uh, he's not a member. He was never registered anywhere. And I want to tell Nigerians that the problem we have in the Labour Party is because we are under the siege of political buccaneers and predators. People that camouflage themselves in military uniform and they came, you know, to do a coup d'etat in the Labour Party. We took our time not to be bloody with them. And what we have done yesterday was very simple. Our neck meeting was a court martial, like they did in the military. Because when you are a, a political uh, person, you know, trying to upstage uh, the rightful and elected uh, uh, national officers, uh, the way we treated them was that Kenneth Okonko had been suspended with others, you know, because uh, they claim they are with uh, Mr. Peter B. And our action, you know, is, is, is very legal. Now, on the question of no, we are being sponsored, I put it to them that they were the ones being sponsored a minute, by the people. A minute. I'll let you, I'll let you continue. Uh, apologies. Uh, quickly here. You just said a moment ago that Kenneth Okonkwo is not a member of Labour Party, but a staff of PO. And, and in the same breath, he's been suspended by Labour Party. Yes. Make, reason, yes, make clear that. Is, he should not be making comments on the party, like he, he said yesterday, calling Alaji Papa a clown. One of them, oh, oh, I mean, uh, this uh, if, if, if former Abi or I mean, uh, Obiora, I have the press statement here where he said he was even castigating the judge, you know, that gave a ruling. It is not done anywhere. We are in the tribunal for God's sake. When you say because a judge doesn't give a favorable order to you, you start criticizing. I have the paper. I was even thinking is the one. I wanted to ask him that was it the one that issued this statement, so that he can confirm it because he said the judge allowed himself to be manipulated. He would have, have not proven that to us. Uh, we have been seeing Kenneth, you know, parading himself as a member. I uh, said it's from PO, you know, the spokesperson here and there. You know, uh, for us, if they have given a cash somewhere, we, the authentic executive, are now saying you can no more in any capacity speak on behalf of labor and the answer the reason is very simple these are a group of people that want to make sure there is an occasional way you know to make nigeria unstable that is their mission and that's why i said they came via a coup d'etat we know when of them came i was the very best person that raised the issue that they are sardonizing labor party you came set up a pcc where we have the chairman from the south, we have the secretary from Anambra, we have the assistant PCC from Anambra, other people from Mimo, for God's sake, we are not Abga. We told them that Labour Party is a national party, everything must be centralized, like, you know, the, I mean, the, the, the federal, I mean, the, this uh, a federal act. And you want but to respond, Mr. Alambi, uh, would you allow us so that we can have, you know, a conversation here? Uh, uh, Kenneth Okonkwo, yeah. first off, I mean, he's questioning your membership of the Labour Party in the first place. He's asking, do you have a membership card of the Labour Party? No. What exactly no. is the situation? And he says buccaneers and predators have uh, <laughs> taken over the party. wonder who they are. You know, you have to really forgive me, but... <laughs> Why I call them political clowns is that you can see. No, but you need to respond to that. <laughs> no, that's question. what I'm saying. You can see that they will make you to laugh. Right. What other response? Your co-anchor has just made <laughs> a statement that even be some brilliant lawyers cannot make. How can you suspend? How can you claim you suspended somebody and you're claiming is not a member? Do you suspend somebody who is not a member? Kenneth Okonkwa, you have the Good. opportunity to clarify. Now, the Labour Party, led by the chairman of the FCT, as a matter of fact, 
came to my office to register me with the ward chairman of Gariki and the ward chairman of Mbunano ward. They came to my office here in Abuja. So you have a membership Reg card? Membership card in Mbunano ward. Yeah. And I've gone home. My people are with me. Okay. We won our elections, presidential and every election right. in my pooling unit, in my ward, in my local government, okay, so in my we can, So we he can maximize pooling unit. Uh, can because he raised the hand of the APC governor in Ogun State. No. And he is there talking. He has not told you how he became the public secretary. Because he's not. I put a pause at the My question is this. So let him you, answer it. No, the question, my answer to you is this. As a child, you can never know yeah. how your father was yeah. born. Yeah. That is my answer if, for you. If you, are, know, if, you are an, if you are a man in Labour Party and you could not win your pooling unit and you're purporting to be the public secretary of your party, okay. which man are you? Gentlemen, uh, I mean, we could spend all night going yeah. back and forth. But let's talk about that neck meeting that held in Bauchi State. Uh, Ken, wh what do you have to say about that? Because that seems to have been uh, held by the Apapa, you know, <laughs> led uh, faction of the Labour Party. Good. Well, there was no neck that held in Bauchi State. What you had is, and I'm not the one who used this word, is the NLC chairman who called them rodents, not me. So what you had is some rodents looking for fish and some animals to peck because no, you, they you are might have giving... to be temper the good. language so that Very good. let's be so what happened in Bauchi right. at the same time the purported meeting is going on in Bauchi the, all the chairmen and secretaries of Labour Party we are meeting in the national office. The chairman and secretaries of all the states are members of the NEC. And if you don't have them, they have 74 members. Because they are 37, 36 plus 1. If you don't have them, how did you say you formed a quorum? And let me state it clearly. And I'm talking about Article 13, 2A, composition of the NEC. And Article 23 is very clear of Labour Party Constitution. If you don't have a quorum, you cannot have a meeting. So who and who were there? And the, talking about Bauchi, the old man that was there parading himself as national chairman, my principal, the presidential candidate, said he doesn't know him. He has not met him. He's actually quoted as saying that he's forgiven Peter Obi, uh, <laughs> Abure, and others. He has forgiven who? What right do you have to forgive you for what? For what offense? Now, right. like I was saying, can you imagine a Bola Tinubu saying he does not know a Siddhartha Adam? Can you imagine an article saying he does not know an IU? And the presidential candidate came out openly and said, I don't know this man. How, how can I not describe him as a clown? So let's, let's bring in Arabambi back again and uh, quickly here. The neck meeting in Bauchi and the comments uh, which uh, Kenneth Okonkwa has just uh, ascribed to the uh, Labour uh, uh, NLC chairman. Speak to us on what exactly uh, this uh, was about because many had thought that well you are moving towards uh, your victory or otherwise at the tribunal if you all come together on the uh, you know one uh, union thank you very much it is an indictment on the part of uh, mr peter Obi to say he doesn't know a papa in nasaba where we elected him was uh, Koko, a member of labor party then he was with bola mentinumbu so it's an indictment about what we are saying. These are people that came to the Labour Party to promote ethnic and religious bigotry. You are a president candidate. You won our primaries. And you came out to say you don't know the deputy national chairman who was elected in the Kwanga Convention. These are the history that he doesn't know. But our own point is this. If BOSA doesn't know, then he's not a president candidate. He's, he's, he's not supposed to even go to court. In the first time to claim your president candidate because he showed that those of us that elected him, he was not validly elected. Because Okoko was not a delegate to Asaba, where we did our neck. He was not a delegate, he was not even part of us. He was still busy, you know, up neighbor with the APC. That one, you know, said to that. If PO said he doesn't know a papa, it's quite unfortunate, it's an indictment that he doesn't know what he's saying. He showed, he showed that PO doesn't know what he's doing at all for him to have come out there. But nevertheless, because we are leader in the Labour Party, 
we do not want anything to happen to the case. That was why we had to pardon him. Because it is settled in law. When an order is made, whether you like it or not, you are bound to obey that order. They went to Asaba, where a court restrained Naburi from parading himself and four others. Those four people were on the high table in Asaba with P.O. and Alessoti and the, and the vice president. But we have to pardon them so that nothing will affect that court case. And we are heard that statement, not like you know, most of the people that thought we are, we are, we are, we are a bunch of you know, uh, young boys that they can just come up stage. So we are forgiving P.O. is our candidate, even if he said he doesn't know us. It shows, again, what is even the issue in the Labour Party. You cannot regionalize Labour Party. Labour Party belongs to Nigerians of what is used to political zone. So, okay, so uh, Mr. Rambi, very quickly, our very party quickly, and we allow them. very quickly, just like I asked you earlier, I mean, there are, in some quarters, some believe that uh, all of this is aimed at scuttling um, Peter Obi's chances at the courts. Uh, as a matter of fact, some would even say that uh, maybe there's financial uh, inducement. And uh, the issue of... Uh, Lamidi Apa trying to withdraw the cases, the Peter Obi cases from the courts. You, you want to confirm that and react to some of the points made? No, we, are, we have said that times that number that, you know, uh, that is life from the pit of the head. Uh, that is number one. You see, number two is this. Uh, you see a lot of them saying we are being sponsored. But all of you, you are, we, you are privy and you witnessed the first press conference after the election. It was done by Nabure and Yosha Ayu. The party was not involved. But I speak to the Nigerian today that even a president candidate is being sponsored by Atiku. Abure is being sponsored by Atiku. That explains why, technically, do you know we are not challenging Atiku vote in the election of the tribunal? And do they think we are, I mean, we are people that don't know what we are doing? If in the same election they declare Chiwaji Bola as the winner, they declare Atiku as the second, and Labour Party as the third. And we technically excluded Atiku because they have, you know, an underwritten agreement which they don't want us to know. And that was why you see P.O. standing firm with Abure, even despite all the indictment. So I tell Nigeria today that this group of people, Abure and even Peter Obi, are being sponsored underneath by Atiku. So we are not being sponsored let's, by anybody. Let, let's, Kenneth? Allow, let's allow Kenneth to react to this. Yeah, uh, very well, he says, he says uh, you, you all have, uh, have been sponsored. Well, from his submissions... Do I need to tell you again that he's been sponsored? If a man will tell you that he is interested in our winning in the courts, and that he's not withdrawing the case, and he's telling you in another breath that my principal is working with Atiku, <laughs> it does that not tell you that he is sponsored? They are a department of the ruling party. Look at men who could not contribute anything in Labour Party, and they are flying on jets to go and visit who? Haven't you seen their pictures all over internet? He himself raised the hand of APC governor and supported him to win. He frustrated our producing a candidate in Ogun State. And in Lagos State, our producing the National Assembly candidates in order to satisfy the yearnings of his paymaster, which is the APC. Okay. So gentlemen. the issue here is that how can they break into the national office and right. whether to take over the national that. office. He, he is money absolutely to you all sponsored. And look at what he's election. saying. All right. Just My uh, principal is going to in, reclaim his in, mandate. In that is what seconds. they are after. In they are after seconds. the mandate. Hold on, Mr. Trying Kenneth to frustrate Okopo. it and they will not succeed. Mr. Arabambi, are you still in support of Peter Obi and his case, you know, his attempt to regain what he says is his mandate? Labour Party is not about Peter Obi, it's about Labour Party. The case we court, we will support all lawful means. Only all lawful means. But all this attempt by Kenneth Ogoko and co to cause a change of government or interim administration, Labour Party is not in support of that. But we will only stand with PO only on lawful terms. And I want to make it clear, PO did not give Labour Party a dime during the presidential election. No agent were paid. Party officials were not paid. We, as member of NWC, our photograph that we took with him, he has never given us one cobble. So for anybody to say we are flying private jet, now is an understatement. We, that's, that's why I, he went I to the party that, that will be PO giving him did millions. did not give Labour Party one time. According to him. 
Thank you so much. Kenneth Okonkwo, uh, of Thank course, you. of the Labour Party, and uh, Bayo Mirabambi uh, of the Lamidia Papa faction. Of course, Kenneth Okonkwo belongs to the uh, Abure, Julius Abure uh, faction. Oh, please, it's not a Thank faction. you very much, <laughs> uh, both of you. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate. And this is where I'm believing you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel, you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.